Praise the Lord of the universe who created men and women from a single soul and made no distinct distinction among them but piety and knowledge. Dear sisters and brothers around the world, English speakers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today is Monday, the uh, 12th of, um, 12th of uh, April and 2021 and I'm Farid Yunus. Tomorrow is, alhamdulillah, the beautiful month of Ramadan. And in the next half an hour, we will talk about uh, Ramadan. And um, it's a month of blessing. It's a month of forgiveness. It's a month of uh, barakah. Um, for us Muslims, this is the most beautiful month in the entire year. But the first thing you need to know why we are fasting. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to... Uh, suffer from hunger and thirst and from dawn to dusk and why we need to why we need to fast does he need our fast no is he trying to make us suffer no but the first thing that's important that the the the, the, the quran says yahya amanu those who believe so believe in what belief in the Quran because this is uh, uh, says الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتُبَ عَلَيْكُمُ السِّيَامَ كَمَا كُتُبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O you who believe fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you that you may learn self-restraint so in this verse 183 of the Quran there are two important issues. First, those who believe. Those who do not believe, they don't fast. Believe in what? Believe in the Quran. Not believe in Allah. Because people before us, they knew Allah and they know Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, they were familiar with the name of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this is important that you need to know that you fast because you believe in the Quran. One thing. And it says that um, um, uh, that you may learn self-restraint. A human being is rebellious, not thankful, not grateful. And because of these qualities, we do need to learn self-respect uh, self-restraint uh, and we need to um, learn uh, high self-esteem without pride or anything like that so for this we need to train ourselves how to be a better person so Ramadan makes you a better person morally not only that you believe in the Quran and the most important thing that many people uh, either misunderstood that you you fast to prove your faith to yourself not to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you fast that you prove your faith to yourself because he knows what is in your heart. He knows whether you have faith in him or faith in the Quran or don't. He knows you. He knows your mind. He knows your heart. He can see you. So when you fast, actually, you prove your faith to yourself. Not to him, because he knows you. He knows your mind, he knows your heart, he knows what you are doing, uh, what is your intention. You need this in Allah Alimu Bizatu Sudur, that's very important that you should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything about you. So you when you fast, actually you prove your faith, your iman to yourself. 
and make yourself a better person. Through Iman. You make yourself a better person through Iman. So, in this month, there is a, a special uh, fasting that recommended uh, in Islam. In that fasting that your brain fast, so you should not ill thinking about someone. Or you should not think about uh, things that pollute your mind or distract you from remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything negative you should avoid so your brain fasts. So your eyes fast that you are not going to see uh, uh, a haram thing. And your ear fast so you will not listen to unpleasant issues such as gossip. You ignore that. Your mouth fast so you should not gossip or utter bad words or slur language or anything in that nature your heart will fast so you are you always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your hands fast will not raise your hand to somebody or pick up a haram thing or anything that's not belong to you so your foot will fast, so you will not venture in the wrong places like casinos or anything like that. So you fast from tip to toe. And this is the fast that will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the fast that you learn self-restraint. And this is the fast that you learn self-respect. And this is the fast that you revitalize your soul, you re re revitalize your um, whole system to become a better person. And this revitalization is through Iman, is through faith. So you need to know that this month for 30 days, it's a challenging month, but if your intention is right and you know the purpose and objective and goal and objective of fasting, you will not even feel it. Those who feel very hungry um, uh, and, and thirsty, because uh, truly I'm telling you that, 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 that this is very true, that they really do not understand the goal and objective and purpose of fasting. Why are we fasting? And once you understand that deep in your heart, you will not even feel fasting. So, be prepared for tomorrow, Tuesday. Inshallah, tomorrow is the first day of Ramadan. So, this month called... Um, uh, a very blessed month not actually because of fasting it's a blessed month because in this month the Quran was revealed for humanity so the truth and falsehood was separated and um, those of you who are traveling, who are sick, have some other hardship that you know of, because this is your relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will reward you for, for your fasting. The only thing that He reward you, and that is His, is fasting, and He will reward you. So this is your very, very special relation with your creator and no one else so better not ask someone are you fasting that's very impolite 
because you're interfering in a very private issue of that person with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't ask anyone, are you fasting? That's none of your business. So if you're traveling or you're sick, there are two kinds of sickness. One is permanent sickness and one is temporary sickness. If it's permanent and you're taking medications, of course you send your fidya to the poor and destitute and help them out. But then since you are sick and Allah sees you, Allah knows your heart, Allah knows your mind, then you eat your uh, fasting. I mean, you, do, you eat regularly, but you need to send fidya. And it is $150 for the whole month minimum. And you could pay $300, make it double if you, if you have the means and you have the a better economic and then you're in a big, better economic status so it is important that you if you do not fast for any reason that you know yourself for any reason that you know yourself you better send fidya the, the, the this is if, if you are permanently sick but if you're temporarily sick, then you can make it up later. And this is what the Quran says, fasting for a fixed number of days. But if, uh, if any of you is ill or on a journey, the prescribed number should be made up from days later. And for those who can do it with hardship is a ransom, the feeding of one that is indigent, but he will, that, that he will give more of his own free will. It's better for him and it is better for you that you fast if you only know. So for any reason that you have difficulties, you can you 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 and, and you cannot fast, that's okay, but you need to send fidya. If you do not send fidya and if you're not fasting, then you do not believe in the Quran and you are not a believer. That is very important. So now you understand the permanent sickness and temporary sickness. And even if during the month of Ramadan you feel you feel sick, that's okay. You can make it up later. Just write down how many days you missed, and you can make it later after Eid. So. Uh, Ramadan is the month, Shahr Ramadan Lazi Unzila Fil Quran Nas. Ramadan is the month in which we send down the Quran. So the reason this month is a very important and it's a blessed month is because the Quran was revealed in this month. Because there are many people who are sick or traveling or some other difficulties, they cannot fast. But the importance of Ramadan is primarily is because of revelation of the Quran in this month. That's what you need to know. So in this month, whether you are fasting or not fasting, you need to read the Quran with meaning and translation and inter interpretation. Avoid all those negative things that I explained in the beginning, whether you are fasting or not fasting and still train yourself to be a better person and send your fidya if you're not fasting. So the Quran as a guide to mankind. So this is not just for, for Muslims. This is for mankind. This is for mankind. So clear signs for guidance and judgment between right and wrong. Because the, when the Quran came, he made a very clear line, the red line, before the falsehood in the truth. And that is why it is very important month for humanity and it's extremely important for Muslims. So every one of you who is present at this at his home during that month should spend in fasting. But if any, anyone is ill or on a journey, 
the prescribed period should be made up by days later. God intends every facility for you. He does not want you to be in difficulties. He wants you to complete the prescribed period and glorify him as that he has guided you and perchance you shall be grateful. This is important that in, at, at the end of this uh, surah, uh, it says that وَلَعَلَكُمْ uh, We have to be very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what we have. The food that He provided for us, the health that provided for the, the give it to us, the, the uh, home, the family, good friends, uh, family members. These are all gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to be very grateful for that. Sometimes we take things for granted. But this month, you need to be very grateful. You should be grateful all the time, but you should express your, your thanks and, and gratitude every second in this month, what you have and what he provided for you. So this is very important. So... Um, these uh, three verse 183, 184, 185, these are exclusively for Ramadan. That you need to know. So, um, in Ramadan, there are some other issues that you need to know. First of all, um, you should eat less. Train to learn how to eat less. That is another reason of the blessing of Ramadan, that train you to eat to eat less. There's a hadith of Prophet Muhammad wasallam says that the stomach is the depot of all diseases. So the less you eat, the healthier you become. And that's why there's a, another hadith of Prophet Muhammad wasallam who said that um, uh, fast so you become healthy. And today uh, uh, the contemporary world of science and nutrition keep telling us that we should eat less and exercise and and um, reduce our fat taking fat and sugar and this and that this has been prescribed to us 1400 years ago and last week i did talk about diet and islam for you so try to eat less that's important and also don't rush at the time of iftar Break fast. Don't rush. You are a guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month. So the purpose of eating in Islam, I told you last week, the purpose of eating Islam is just not to uh, fill your stomach. The purpose of eating in Islam is to gain the proper energy to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So during the month of Ramadan, why we are breaking our fast first and then we go for prayers we don't we don't uh, pray first 